Hello everybody and welcome again to my channel. We have Jack hosting again today. Uh, Jack's a good friend of mine and uh, he's still showing up here. So I just want to make sure we're keeping the diversity level up on this channel. This time I wanted to talk about the 2018 January study edition of the Watchtower. There's some very interesting points in that. And more interesting is some of the things that happened or were announced rather in the annual meeting. And that ties in very much so to the Watchtower. So the point I want to talk about in the study edition of the Watchtower is an article entitled Why Give to the One Who Has Everything? So basically what the Watchtower is doing here is asking the question of why do you need to give financially to Jehovah God who created the universe? And in this article they strive to make the point that Jehovah expects you to give financially. And they back up this argument going back to the Hebrew scriptures and referring to places where the Israelites were asked to donate for the temple. So there's no, um, there's nothing that's analogous to that event in the Christian scriptures. In the Christian scriptures, there was a time uh, early on in Acts when many of the individuals donated their things, so they all had them collectively, and they used them to distribute to people who needed it. There is nothing analogous to that happening in Jehovah's Witnesses. The Watchtower does not distribute the money they collect to people who need it. They utilize it for their own purposes. There is an exception. Disaster relief. So recently, uh, Brother Jackson, I believe it was, or no, Brother Sanderson, that's it, Brother Sanderson, was seen asking for up to $25 million to help the victims of uh, these natural disasters. And on the face, that looks like a good thing. You know, it's nice that Jehovah's Witnesses are helping each other out in times of disaster when people have lost everything. But I one time participated in disaster relief. This goes back to Hurricane Katrina. And what I heard is that the individuals whose houses were rebuilt were then expected to donate all of the money they got for their insurance claims to the society. Now, their insurance claim would cover not just the materials, but also the labor necessary to do the repairs. When the society has volunteers give of their time freely, the only thing they pay for is materials, which they're probably buying in bulk based on the number of things they're doing. So they get the materials less for probably less than the average contractor would be getting them for. So their cost of rebuilding these homes is pretty minimal. However, when they convince people or coerce people, you might say, to donate their insurance checks, they're making a massive profit. I honestly believe that one of the reasons why the society is focused so much on disaster relief is because of that specific model. They get volunteers to go down there and do the work. They get their materials cheap. And therefore, when they convince people to donate their insurance checks to the society, they make a very tidy profit. That's what I really believe is going on. So anyways, getting back to this article. So this article is trying to make the case that Jehovah expects you to give monetarily to the society. And as I said, their, their backing for this is based on Old Testament texts and has nothing to do with um, the Christian scriptures. And this is actually par for the course for the Watchtower. Many of the things that they do, they try to back up with things from the, Christ, from the Hebrew scriptures, rather, things which were not necessarily carried through after Jesus came to the earth. So in short, their rationale for trying to tell you that Jehovah expects you to give monetarily is extremely poor. Now, this all happens at a time when Jehovah's Witnesses have just been told that the Watchtower is now going to be published less than it was before. So the public edition of the Watchtower and Awake is going from six magazines per year down to three magazines per year. So this basically is a sign of a corporation that is shrinking. They monetarily can no longer afford the printing of these materials and henceforth they're discontinuing it. And this is really ironic because since the advent of JW.org, Theoretically, they should be able to get their message out without having to print so much. And this should actually relieve them of the financial burden. However, this is not happening. Now, as an interesting side note, I realized back when I was still one of Jehovah's Witnesses, um, when they were bragging about how much literature they printed, I knew that most of the literature they printed was never read. The vast majority of it wasn't read. Most active Jehovah's Witnesses don't read all the literature. Most people that you place the magazines with don't read it. 
Most people that you place the books with don't read them. I would estimate, this is just a, a wild guess, that anywhere from 90 to 95% of their literature goes unread. And that, to me, was really ironic because there's a scripture in Revelation about God bringing to ruin those ruining the earth. And it takes trees to make paper. So you're cutting down a lot of trees to make something that 99% of people aren't reading. And when they were bragging about how much literature they had printed, they were basically bragging about how many forests they had destroyed. So anyways, now they're in a situation where they're running out of money. And the fact that they're running out of money is meaning that they're having to cut back on their printing. And as proof of the fact they're running out of money, they're now printing articles where they're telling you that God expects you to donate money to him. And I find this really ironic because the very next article, um, they ask a question. And the question they ask is along the lines of um, how our, your, our view of money. And essentially, they ask, why are lovers of money not truly happy? So here the organization is asking you not to think of yourself the way the organization thinks of itself. The organization is asking you to give it lots of money. Why? Because the organization loves money. It's, it's patent, patently obvious that they love money. Otherwise, they would not need to ask you for so much. But they do. But they don't want you to love money. So what the organization is really telling you here is that the organization is not truly happy because they are lovers of money. Anyways, these are all good things because this is showing us that the organization is indeed um, facing a very hard time financially. And that's kind of what we expect given um, all the scandals that they're, they're going through. So another thing I want to do with this video is I want to remind people that November 4th and 5th there is going to be a gathering of individuals at Warwick, New York. This gathering is going to be a celebration of our freedom from the Watchtower. It's going to be a time to share our stories, to encourage each other, and a time for healing. And a time to let the Watchtower know that they are not in control, they are not in charge, and that they no longer have our allegiance. We invite them to come down and talk with us and discuss with us our issues. As I've said before, a few key issues, if they would change on, we would... I would stop doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't um, talk about them anymore. Um, those key issues, as I've enumerated before, are their policies on child abuse. Um, that needs to be reported properly. Um, blood transfusions. I believe they can no longer um, disfellowship or disassociate people for taking blood transfusions. Um, if they discontinue that, that would be good. And also their policy on shunning. That has to go away. You have to be able to leave that, that corporation, that publishing corporation, without the threat of having all of your friends shun you. If they would change those three policies, I would no longer care what they believed or what they taught, and I would leave them alone and I would stop making videos. That's all I care about. I want people to have their freedom. So anyways, those are just a few interesting thoughts for this time. So thanks for watching.